Hey guys, I'm Dr. Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna have a chill morning and go over canine elbow dysplasia. So we're gonna talk about front forelimb lameness. There are three diseases that I'm gonna go through and I have some questions that I made. So I hope this little review helps you and I hope you guys get all your board's questions right on canine elbow dysplasia. All right, let's get started. All three of these elbow dysplasias today are considered elbow incongruities, which means there's poor alignment of the joint surfaces of the elbow. And this happens as the dog is developing. So this is gonna happen in young dog breeds. So think of your dogs that are four to seven months old coming in for front forelimb lameness. So think of their elbows and the three diseases that we're gonna go through today. The first elbow disease is called ununited ancineal process. The second elbow disease is called osteochondrosis desiccans or OCD of the humeral condyle. Third disease is called fragmentation of the medial coronoid process or MCP. The dogs that are most common for getting these elbow diseases are going to be your large breed dogs like your German Shepherd, your Golden Retrievers, your Labradors, your Newfoundlands, and your Boxers and Rottweilers. Thank you guys for watching this video on the three elbow dysplasias in dogs. If you guys like this video, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notifications for when I post veterinary videos. Good baby Elsa. You're so cute. She's a little Laponian herder. She's such a good girl. All right. And if you guys made it to the end of this, I'll tell you about Elsa. Right now she is 11 weeks old, hitting about 13 pounds. She is a Laponian herder puppy. She is so cute. <laughs> she likes lots of walks and lots of